time to wake up. All right, what is going on, guys? Your boy Jay is in the building, and today uh, we just got a quick little video that we're gonna talk about. All right, I do want to talk a little bit about something, and I'm not sure how I know how I feel about it, but I'm not sure how everybody else feels about it. Now, there has been a little bit of, um, and by a little bit, I mean a lot. There's been a lot of situation. Can I make it? Oh, no confetti the fuck there's been a lot of people like getting what i like to call professionally offended and what that basically is is i mean when you really think about it there's a have you guys noticed that there's a lot of people just kind of bitching and moaning about a stuff like oh i'm offended by this or i don't like that this person said that or this sjw this twitter person and blah 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 i remember back a i don't know how long ago it was it wasn't that long when you heard somebody's opinion and you just didn't give a shit like it was just like one of those things where it's just like oh well i'm offended but whatever like that that's the way a lot of stuff used to be I, at least when i was coming up as a kid like i i don't remember i don't know if this is how you guys were raised but my parents always ta taught me to uh say you know if you don't have anything nice to say don't say it at all and then ignore the people that don't have anything nice to say in the first place so you know, it doesn't make any sense for you to give them any more of your energy because it's not worth it. So, you know, I, I just I just kept that philosophy, you know, it doesn't make any sense for somebody to get offended about some shit that does that doesn't affect them. And with that said, I want to talk about this whole George Lopez situation, because as a an aspiring comedian, an aspiring shitty comedian, I at least want to be a shitty comedian. OK, um, there comes a time where it's OK to be offended. It's okay to have your feelings out on your sleeve or whatever, but I don't think at a comedy show. So if you guys don't know about the George Lopez situation, he basically was saying, he was uh, telling a joke that said, you know, when you're in a Mexican family, there you have two rules. Um, don't, don't marry anybody black and don't park in front of our house. Now me coming from somebody who has lived in Southern California, so I'm, I'm exposed to a lot of uh, very diverse cultures and things like that, a lot of people. I grew up Let's next to a lot of Hispanic people when I used to, you know, live in certain areas well, and stuff like that, that, you know, it happens to be one of those things that I know is, is almost true, like a hundred percent true. Like there's, there's no if, ands or buts about it. Like even the Hispanic girls I've dated, you know, for like, you know, bits and pieces of my life. Um, that's the one thing that they, their parents were just like, no chocolate in my house. Just don't don't bring home any black people and i don't think it's anything to do with all oh, they're black or anything like that it's I, i'm not sure what it is it's just one of those things where um it kind of it is what it is i guess i i don't know i'm not hispanic so i can't really like speak on it i'm not mexican so i can't really speak on that either so you know it's it's a little weird for me and um anyway to, to talk about this lady who just you know flipped him off and you know did all this other stuff now i will say george lopez was out of line for doing one of two things um where he called her out of her name you know called her a bitch or whatever and all that other stuff you know sit the fuck down or get the fuck out and then made the decision for you you know get the fuck out or whatever like you know he he didn't have to go in like that but then again you are at a comedy show for you to get offended in the front row in the front row is just like a no-no god damn it i suck at this fucking game <laughs> um you know you don't that's the one place that you think oh you can take a joke you're in a comedy club like you kind of brought it on yourself and if anybody has ever seen a dl hughley show if you're if you're late if you're doing something and you sit in the front row oh he's going in on that ass you'd be like oh niggas can never show up on time this is why we can't have nothing and da, 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 da. he just goes in on people like it is fucking hilarious and i suck with fucking Widowmaker. don't you do it don't you do it ah gotta gotta get out of here gotta get out of here gotta get out of here get get away from me my guy okay there we go so you know it's it's so funny that because uh one of my friends he's also a um well he wants to be a stand-up comedian he's done like two 
two open mic shows and stuff like that and he's just like yeah man i'm just so afraid that i'm not gonna be funny because i'm trying not to offend anybody i was like dude f who fucking cares it's 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 comedy like if, if you didn't want to get made fun of you probably shouldn't have came to a comedy show honestly truly you just it doesn't make any sense for you to want to do a situation like that to yourself like it just doesn't i'm really trying to take out this fucking torbjorn turret like it is just not happening like bro 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 if you cannot put that there that'd be great thanks Oh shit, we secured the point. Let's go. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Anyway, so I just find it really strange that a lot of people just get super bent out of shape, especially during, like I said, during situations where it should not matter. And I don't know, man, as somebody who would love to tell jokes for a living and stuff like that, can I make that? Oh, fuck. It's just, it's almost discouraging because you never know when you're going to run into a situation where you offend the wrong person. And it's just like, but people should also know not to keep your feelings out on your sleeve like you don't need to be telling the world how you feel about everything all the time like and it's funny too because in an age of social media that's all people want to do is they just want to be noticed they just want to be like heard and stuff like that that's why twitter is such a big thing because it's like twitter is one of those things where it's a lot of people in one room and everybody's shouting all at the same time and everybody wants to be heard louder than everybody else and if you have more followers you're clearly louder so you know it's it's stupid and then instagram is the is the picture version of that <laughs> so you know and it's it's so crazy um that this even happens and all it really is is like people just want attention which okay i get it you you know everybody wants attention everybody wants to be famous everybody wants to you know have their uh you know get rich and have you know have all this money and support their families and stuff like that but like man come on like there's there's a there's a limit so anyway kind of going on a tangent there but i don't know why i tried to challenge that soldier in one-on-one -on -one combat that, that was just not happening let me switch to hanzo let's see what happens um anyway uh, what i'm just constantly thinking is maybe more people need to learn to keep their mouth shut like really like just just you know think about it and maybe take a second to realize the setting that you're in and maybe that's not the, did i really just miss that shot did i miss a second shot and he wasn't going anywhere what the fuck <laughs> what is going on with my aim right now yo <laughs> anyway um another thing i wanted to talk about since we're playing overwatch is this whole thing about people being offended that uh may was like her waist size was reduced or some shit in overwatch uh with the new update skin and i'm like well number one there's no possible way that you can tell may is quote unquote thick because trust me there's nothing wrong with being thick okay ladies there's there's absolutely genji 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 we're not doing this right now we're not doing this because because soldier's gonna kill me um i i have terrible fucking aim no matter what fucking game i'm playing it doesn't matter um anyway yeah it, people were just so offended by this and i was like what the fuck are you guys offended about a fictional character first of all she's never revealing enough clothing in general for people to even assume what her um you know body type is like and let alone it's a fucking video game why are you so fucking professionally offended that you want to be like oh well um they're they're just body shaming may and stuff like that it, what come on like are you kidding me have you seen that ass like may is packing there's no fucking like yeah her waist because if you actually look at the thing that she's wearing the fucking belt she's like pulling it all in like it, even if if she was thick or not it's like yo stop just, just chill it's a fucking video game like so you know it's it is what it is and if people want to be offended all the time i personally don't give a shit um but you know whatever it's i, I guess it's just majority rules the situation which which fucking sucks cause, you know that would explain a lot of these like famous people out here who have no business being famous and shit so if i can just get one fucking kill with a hanzo like that'd be fucking dope though so you know oh fuck he's got me in his sights nigga no <laughs> um but yeah you know that's just my two cents on it I, I let me know what you guys think i'm just a little confused as to why people just do this shit it's you're basically hurting your own feelings honestly because if you i remember like a long time ago uh being on the internet was such a tough thing because even now 
uh, because you had like cyber bullies. And first of all, cyber bullying is, is stupid. It's a waste of time. I think I think it's fucking ridiculous because it's just like it's all about personal choice. And if you're if you feel like you're being bullied or you know somebody's being mean to you or you're in a situation that you feel uncomfortable, turn the fucking computer off. Okay, turn your fucking phone off. Like just just get away from it. Now you do have s certain situations where it's a combination of regular bullying and cyber bullying, uh, where some kids will get online some days and other kids will tell them to kill themselves and shit like that like that's that's not cool first of all you should be teaching your kids not to fucking do that in the first place but you know and on another hand you should be monitoring your fucking kids like and what they're doing online <laughs> you know that's that was one of the huge things because i remember when cyber predators was a thing where it's just like there's scary people on the internet and it's funny too because now that i think about it the scary mean people that uh was always like a thing just like oh beware of these people obviously you know there's like pedophiles and shit but like there's obviously people who don't fucking like you like they don't have to like you they don't have to be nice to you it's the internet it's one of those things where tough skin or get the fuck out so there's been plenty of times where i've been called a fucking nigger you know all this other shit uh, you know like on stream sometimes too uh because i'm playing overwatch and i'll like shout at the team like get on the fucking point and shit like that so and then you know i get called every name in the book because i just want to play a game and i just want to win so it's it sucks because you want to get on the internet and you want to interact with people but sometimes there's just some people out there who are just way on the fucking edge you know and i ended up one of those people so you know if you piss me off in overwatch best believe i'm hitting the fucking tilde key and telling your ass that you're a waste of semen and your mom should have swallowed and all this other shit but that's just how i feel about it and if i ever get too upset i just turn it off that's that should be literally the limit to the shit that happens but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below if you enjoyed this little kind of rant sit down and you know talk and stuff like that let me know you know maybe we'll do these a little bit more often um leave a comment once again this is a conversation i really want to have with some of you guys like are you guys you know part of you know the cyber bullying thing like what do you guys think about it i think it's a load of bullshit but what whatever you know sometimes to each his own and every person experiences things differently so um just like how i have a couple of buddies who have never uh understood or experience direct racism like i have you know so i i think that's very interesting not saying that's like a black rite of passage or anything but you know it's it's kind of like that, that's a little weird that's a little weird and uh, you know maybe indirect like where they're following you around the store or something you know thinking you're gonna steal something but that's that's pretty much everybody um a little bit more so depending on the pigment color of your skin so but whatever anyway uh give this video a like if you guys enjoyed the video dislike if you didn't like the video and if you did dislike the video let me know down in the comment section below why you dislike this video i know it's probably going to be some long ranty thing so try to shorten it the best you can um and if you guys enjoy the content that i put out every single day make sure to hit the subscribe button and then while you're also next to that subscribe button if you could click the little bell so that way you could get notifications so that way you know whenever i upload live stream download or whatever the hell uh, maybe maybe not downloading because that's a little personal because some of the stuff i download even my isp is just like bro you, you you just can't be downloading this type of shit so but anyway guys that is going to be it for today i'll catch you guys down in the comment section this has been your boy jay sama and i will catch you guys next time make sure to keep it canon oh.